Hi, my name is Dan Lynch. I'm a wildlife education specialist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. And what I'm doing today is giving you an idea of a, a nature activity that you can do while you're stuck at home during COVID-19. Your parents can help you out with this. And this is something that's really simple. You can do around the house. If you have a park or something nearby that you can get out and get into nature, that's cool too. But this is something you can do right behind your house. So uh, what this activity is called is you're making a track tube. And this track tube is made of PVC pipe. Uh, you could make it with a piece of plastic that you wrap in a circle and tape together. Uh, but the PVC pipe, if you have like a section of this or your parents have a section of this sitting around, this works really good. Now this activity is not something that I created. Jim Hart, he's a nature um, mammologist with uh, Shippensburg University. He actually came up with this idea and we've been borrowing it uh, for years uh, for educational programs and teacher workshops. So let me show you exactly what this thing is and, and how it's made. So um, basically what you need is you need a section of PVC pipe. This is about 12 inches long, doesn't have to be exact. You need two pieces of felt, one on each side, and you need a piece of light colored construction paper on the inside. So it's pretty simple. Um, the stuff that I'm using right now, this particular type of felt actually has sticky on the back. So when you cut it into the sections that you need, you don't need any glue. But if not, you know, you're gonna need some glue. You're gonna need some construction paper. And what you want is construction paper that's light colored. So pink, blue, green, yellow, something like that. And you're gonna need some sort of ink uh, or even like a paint will work um, if you have some like craft paint at home. And this ink, um, I'll explain a little bit later, is, is kind of important to this whole activity. If you're, when you use the construction paper, you're also gonna need some uh, tape uh, to tape it on the inside. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little tube in here for small mammals like moles, voles, shrews, mice, that kind of thing to run through. They're gonna, we're gonna put some bait in here. They're gonna run across this felt pad that has the ink on it or craft paint on it. And when they run across it, they're gonna leave their little tracks on that piece of paper. You can take that paper out. Then you, if you have a field guide to tracks at home, I've got some examples of them here. Or you could just go on the internet and Google small mammal tracks and then try to figure out what you have. So this is a, a way to try to mess around with wildlife without actually catching it. So there's no, you're not gonna harm anything this way and you'd be surprised what actually lives in and around your, your house. Um, so let's say you don't have PVC pipe. I was sitting at home trying to think, well, what could you use? So I went into uh, my recycling bin in my garage and I found this um, uh, lettuce container. And so basically you can do the exact same thing with a lettuce container. You take the lid off or open it up and you put two little pieces of felt on each side and construction paper on the inside, a little bit bigger than goes in the tube. And then if you need some help, have your parents help you cut a little square out with scissors. Um, and basically this is gonna be the exact same thing as the tube, only cheaper. So I'm gonna show you um, how we're gonna put this thing around my house here and uh, where would be good places to put it. And again, you gotta tr try to think like a small mammal. So you wanna be placed in some place where you can hide. So along our rock wall right here seems to be a really good spot. <clears throat> so basically what you do is first you take the ink and you put the ink on the felt pads or the craft uh, 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 paint, put it on the, on the pads. And then you want to set this thing down so that the ink pads are laying on the bottom. You don't want to turn it to the wrong side. And then in this case, I'll just put a little bit of mulch up alongside of it so that it stays right here. And these critters are these small mammals, moles, voles, and shrews. They're going to run along the edge of this rock wall. The way to attract them inside here is if you have bird seed, it works really good, but I don't have any bird seed at home right now, but I do have uh, cracked corn. So you just take some cracked corn and throw it through. So you've got a little bit of cracked corn on this side, you've got some on the inside and a little bit on the, out, the other side. And that's pretty much it. You come back in about 24 hours and check and see what you have, you kind of pull this thing up and you'll see tiny little black tracks if you, if you use black ink or whatever color paint you use you'll see their little tracks in there. You can pull that little piece of paper out and try to figure out what you have. You can put another piece of paper back in and redo it. Uh, so you would do the exact same thing with uh, the lettuce container. And again, you just throw a little bit of food inside here, put food on each side. After you put the ink on the pads, come back in 24 hours and see what you got. You can make a bunch of these things. You could put them at different locations around your house. If you have a, uh, a wood pile or a stone, uh, like a, a stone fence or something like that, that would be a really good habitat to try to track these critters. One other thing you can do is if you have a bird feeder, especially an active bird feeder right now, 
you could do the exact same thing. So underneath the bird feeder on the ground, set this thing up underneath the bird feeder, put a stone on each side so it doesn't roll around, throw some bird seed through there, and the birds will actually hop through. They'll put their little feet right on the ink or the paint and run right through and you'll get some bird tracks in there. Be a little difficult to identify the species, but it's kind of a cool thing to do. So this is just something that uh, we thought we would kind of put together uh, to help parents and kids out while we're sitting at home trying to figure out what to do and not go crazy. So uh, again, it's pretty inexpensive. It's something kind of fun to do. Um, so hope you have fun with it.